almost called you to reschedule today because this is not my kind of day. Um, clearly, this is a day where the market uh, got more confident that we're going into a recession. I obviously acknowledge the possibility of a recession, but don't think it's anywhere near 100 percent. Paul Samuelson famously said the market has predicted nine of the last five recessions. I think that's about right. I think uh, in this case, the market is just excessively confident of a recession. But if it's right and we go into a recession, then some of the consumer discretionary names, some of the banks, some of the financials that I own are not going to do so well. And some of the growth stocks have a chance of outperforming. There's just no way to deny that. Are there any growth, any value stocks in that growth stock basket that would do well that you might be interested in? Sure. We, we have lots of names that, that are growing at, at very nice rates. Um, so, but, you know, by definition, value stocks and growth stocks tend to get separated by valuation, that our names tend to trade at a low multiple of book, low multiple of earnings. We're having lots of opportunities in that world. I was talking to you about Mohawk Carpets trading at eight times earnings. I talked to you about Mosaic trading at four times earnings. Um, so our names are very cheap. Uh, the one thing you do pay is there's sometimes short-term headwinds. And what Ariel's all about is trying to look past those short-term headwinds to long-term opportunity. Right now, the market is extremely focused on short-term headwinds. Well, let's hit the automakers, Charlie. A trio of them making headlines today. J.P. Morgan cutting its price target and earnings estimate for Tesla after the EV company announced disappointing second quarter deliveries. The stock turned around, though. It's up 2 percent. Ford announcing second quarter sales increased by just 1.8 percent. That was a miss as well. And according to a published report, Stellantis could slash production by more than 200,000 vehicles this year because of the global ship, ship shortage. Phil Lebeau joins us. Phil, Tesla and Ford deliveries all about the EV demand. What about production and their ability to increase how many EVs they can build? Well, that's the big question. And I think that's one reason why you don't see a whole lot of love for the auto stocks right now. Everybody knows EVs are coming. And yet, at the same time, we know it's going to be a longer and bumpier road than many were hoping for. As you take a look at Ford and, and Tesla and, and Stellantis, keep in mind a couple of things here. When you look at the Tesla deliveries, 254,000 vehicles, yeah, a little bit light of some of the analyst expectations, but not dramatically so. And we knew what was happening in China. In fact, many believe the second half of this year they're going to ramp production. The Ford June sales, that's a year-over-year -year comparison. But a year ago in June, they had a drop of 27 percent because of the chip crisis. So people look at it and they say, OK, you had an easy comparison there. And then finally, Stellantis, there is a report out of Europe that year-to-day production down 14 percent. Bottom line is this, for the automakers, Ford, GM, Stellantis, Honda, they all hit 52-week lows today. And that, Sarah, is primarily because there's not a whole lot of optimism in this group, mm -hmm. despite the record pricing that they have right now. Yeah, this is typically pretty cyclical and also tied to those loans. Phil, thank you. Anything you like here, Charlie, in the auto space? We love Borg Warner. We love Borg Warner. They, I have never seen shortages like this. If you drive around and look at lots, dealer lots, there is just nothing for sale. That is going to get fixed. The chip problem is going to get fixed. When it does, there is tremendous backup. There's tremendous demand uh, that's going to get filled eventually. We're going to go back to 17 million cars a year, and names like Borg Warner, the powertrain maker, are going to do very well.